Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss the equivalent conductance and the specific conductance. We are having basically two types of conduct conductance. One is metallic conductance, another one we are having the electrolytic conductance. Metallic conductor metallic conductance is basically a moment of electrons per unit time is basically a moment of electrons per unit time but when we talk about the electrolytes and its conductance we calculate the conductance of this electrolyte using the term concentration using the term concentration that how much electrolyte is concentrated how much pure it is how much has a capability to produce the ions actually current is carried out by the ions giving you an example whenever we just dilute this H2SO4 it will forms ions these ions will move towards cathode and anode side so we say that in electrolyte the current is carried by the ions and their conducting power depends upon the number of ions per unit volume taking an example of HCl it's the power of HCl is much lesser than H2SO4 So I'll repeat again that the conducting power depends upon the ions per unit volume. We can just calculate the current, calculate the power depending upon the number of ions. If we are to compare the conductivity of two solutions of different electrolyte, it is essential that they must have same equivalent concentration they must have same equivalent concentration if we have to compare the conductance of two electrolytes the conductance of such electrolytes we called as equivalent conductance we called as equivalent conductance we also called equivalent conductance as or we can write it as molar conductance molar conductance so here Equivalent conductance is basically way of expressing the concentration of solution. What is equivalent conductance? Equivalent conductance is nothing but a way of expressing the quantity of electrolyte contained in the container. In the world of chemistry, in the chemistry field, we use to express a single thing by the number of methods. We can express I'll give you the example a glass of water we can express this glass of water in ounces in kilogram in liters so we say that the components of this glass is not changing so what is keep on changing the way of expressing the thing is keep on changing similarly we are having an electrolyte having two electrodes having two electrode two electrodes the the electrolyte solution the we can express this electrolyte solution in the terms of moles we can express in the terms of moles in the terms of molarity in the terms of molality in the terms of yes equivalent 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 concentration we can terms in the gram equivalent gram 
equivalent so what is not changing the electrolyte the thing is not changing the electrolyte is not changing but the way of expressing the electrolyte is keep on changing we can express if we express this concentration in terms of moles so we called as molar concentration if we just express in terms of grams so we called as gram equivalent concentration if i just say that conductivity depends upon the moles so we called as molar conductance if i just say gram equivalent so we say equivalent conductance so what is conductance actually is it is a reciprocal of resistance so what is conductance is conductance is nothing but a reciprocal of conductance the, the symbol of conductance is c the equivalent conductance is not found directly we cannot calculate the value of equivalent conductance directly but we can calculate we can express this equivalent conductance in terms of specific conductance so if i just write as that the equivalent conductance equivalent conductance remember this remember its symbol you have to just re remember this symbol that this one is a symbol of equivalent conductance as i told earlier that we can never calculate the equivalent conductance directly but we need but we can calculate this value by expressing in terms of specific conductance so how we can express this equivalent conductance we can just made equivalent specific conductance and it is represented as k k for kappa k is for kappa what is specific conductance it is basically a reciprocal of specific resistivity just as conductance ends and resistance both are similar so similarly we can say that the specific resistance is is represented as rho and its formula is r area of cross section divided by length so how we can calculate the conduct conductivity resistivity specific resistivity this one is simple for specific resistivity so how we can represent the specific conductivity conductivity it is also vt vt ns ns it is a reciprocal so it it will also be a reciprocal of specific resistivity so how we can write it as we can write it as it is a reciprocal so to calculate this value i just place this value over here but we will found it the overall value becomes reciprocal so its formula will be 1 by r multiplied by 1 by area of cross section capital a what is 1 over r 1 over r is conductance 1 over r is conductance so we write this formula as conductance multiply by multiply by length per unit area here l is present over here this one is the formula for specific conductivity specific conductance or we can say specific conductivity both are having the same meaning so in order to correlate these two terms according to the scientist a nobel prize was given to the scientist after inventing this finding the way of expressing the concentration of electrolyte we can correlate these two terms by considering a rectangular trough by rectangular trough exactly 1 cm these are the two electrodes these are the two electrodes having the distance of having a distance of 1 cm having a distance of 1 cm just want to draw the 3d diagram are exactly opposite to each other this one is the these are placed exactly opposite to each other 
having one centimeter apart we have to just fill out the electrolyte of how much quantity that is one gram equivalent we have to just fill the one gram equivalent of electrolyte electrolyte so if i just fill the electrolyte so we say a closed cell this is the way of this is cell this is complete cell having the one gram equivalent of electrolyte so we can express that if i just give an example to you this this one is equal to the equivalent conductance oh, it is equivalent to conductance it is equivalent to conductance this is a way of expressing the equivalent conductance and specific conductance if i just suppose that a solution is diluted to 4 cm cube what is the condition for initial equivalent conductance it should be the it should be 1 cm cube let us suppose that this solution is diluted to 4 cm cube or we can say 4 times in this case the total conductance is equal to, to is equal to the equivalent conductance as the solution still contains the 1 gram equivalent of electrolyte but as the solution is now present 4 cubes that it means 4 times 4 cubes than that of actual actually is 1 cm it means we have added the 4 cubes 4 times more so we can say that the equivalent conductance equivalent conductance will be 4 times that of that of specific conductance this is the way of expressing the equivalent conductance you have to just remember this formula that how much times we have diluted it if we just diluted it 10 times so we will multiply with it with 10 in general if 1 gram of equivalent of electrolyte is expressed in volume V so how we can write that we can express multiply by V if 1 gram of equivalent is dissolved in volume V we have just increased the so its so its value will be multiplication of specific conductance and the volume if we just express in gram equivalent this is the volume volume means what is gram equivalent that the concentration in 1000 gram so we can replace with this value so the output will be C divided by 1000 this is the formula for equivalent conductance and we have just correlate these two terms that the equivalent conductance and the specific conductance is the way of is the way of finding the finding the conductance in the electrolyte